nothing like a calm, relaxing morning at Moraine Lake. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, raindrop in the eye. Also, we discovered that 6.30 is not near early enough to get a parking spot. Anyway, <clears throat> just look at this view. <laughs> just incredible, wow. Compared to Lake Louise, I'd say this one definitely wins. Like the Lake Louise water is like green. This is like a rich blue. It's pretty awesome. It's a little bit rainy and misty right now, so check it out. You got this awesome mist rolling in. Actually, you know what's crazy is last night, it got down to, I think about 36, and it was raining. So like, it's crazy how we were actually pretty close to getting the lake where it's like, not frozen, but yet there's snow all around it. Like, yeah, that would've been crazy. Okay, it is like drizzling and wet and nasty, and we are majorly in need of a hot beverage. <laughs> so we're gonna go try to find a coffee shop somewhere. It looks like down at the very bottom of this hill there's one. Um, there's one right up here, but it's like seven or eight dollars for a latte. Yeah, no, not gonna break my bank account for that. Having sufficiently recaffeinated myself, um, we are gonna now head to the natural bridge. This is amazing. This day is so legit. Like we're already, I mean, we've only, it's what? It's, it's only 10.30. We've already seen Moraine Lake, got some awesome pictures. We stopped at like a gift shop and uh, it's actually right next to where the coffee shop was. Like explored around there, some amazingly cool stuff. So yeah, anyway, I'm not really sure, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because I'm like, just spamming the the photo game it's amazing um but yeah sorry if it feels like this the videos are kind of jerking around it's actually a huge problem is that i am running out of um battery space like big time because the campsite you can't charge batteries there um and so yeah we'll see hopefully i've got one more battery that's full and this one is almost about to die so it's gonna be really close We're here, it's kind of raining a little bit, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have the camera out. Also really hope the water looks good, because with all this rain we've been getting, it's like muddying it up, it's kind of nasty. I am so sorry, you wonderful people. I am literally jumping all over the place. So we are now at um, Emerald Lake, which is, we, we almost didn't stop, but it was really, really close to where we were. 
and this place is blowing my mind. Like, I, like okay, here, check this out. I'm just gonna go down here real quick. The water is literally bluer than Moraine Lake. Like, it is just phenomenal. Like, check this out. Check this view. Ready? Look at that. Insane. There's like tons of um, canoers out there and stuff. Oh, it's just amazing. So I think that this is gonna be the last uh, lake stop that we do today. Um, but yeah, wow, ending with a banger. So, so beautiful. Just, yeah, <laughs> incredible. I think some of my better pictures are gonna come from this lake actually. It's like I was talking about earlier. It's like you have a, a, a picture that you have in your mind that you wanna take, but it's so cool to kinda of get away from that and take a brand new picture that you never thought of before. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right, everybody, ending up, or ending off this day. Um, yeah, after the last thing that you saw, we basically, it was kind of raining and nasty, so basically what we did is we went to <clears throat> the visitor center down below Lake Louise, and there's a bunch of cool gift shops there, some really neat stuff, and we just wandered around and looked at everything, because, you know, we're too poor to buy stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was really, it was really cool. Um, we're gonna turn in super early, it's like plenty of daylight out here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is get up mad early and go to a really really old cool tea house That is about three kilometers past Lake Louise um, We're gonna get up super early get some get there early before everybody else get some nice pictures stuff like that And then maybe catch the sunrise on the way back down from over Lake Louise. We'll, we'll see I don't really know we haven't really thought that far yet and then after that we're gonna go to Pato Lake or Pedro League. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, <clears throat> um, and that's gonna be almost our last day in in, uh, in Banff, which is gonna be kind of crazy. But I guess I never really showed you guys where or what our our rig looks like here. Hold on a second. So you know, we just in the back end here, belly of the beast, laid out this sleeping bag here. Um, it's pretty great. Not gonna lie, it's super, super awesome and comfortable. Um, it's coming in this early direction. This is where Weston sleeps. <laughs> um, West, what happened last night? Tell him what happened with the. Uh, the steering wheel was in my way, so I slept <laughs> on the floor <laughs> and used the brake pedal, pedal of the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. So yeah. Anyway. Uh. We are having a party in case you haven't picked up on that yet. <laughs> that is going to end this video. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Oh, before I go, I forgot to mention, um, I'm going to start doing a really cool thing whenever I travel. Well, I think it's cool. I'm going to start getting these little pins. Hold on a second. And I'm going to stick them on my backpack, like my gear backpack. And then every country that I go to, or continent or whatever, that has a pin like this, I'm going to buy it. And then eventually the goal is to get like a big collection of them, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start doing that.